Okay. You need to swap your screen. Is it okay now? Yes, it looks good now. Okay. Okay. Uh, the topic of my uh, talk is the invest investigation and modulation of topological properties of quasi one dimensional business highlight system. Uh, this is uh, our plan. First, I will uh, give a short uh, introduction on the uh, background uh, because uh, the previous speakers has, have uh, provided a lot of information in this part. Uh, for part two, I will talk about the topological properties of the monolayer systems highlight. And for part three, I will talk about the uh, unique feature in this system, the one dimensional rule. And for part four, I will talk about the uh, realization of topological phase transitions and uh, novel topological properties uh, by the doping effect, uh, doping method. And uh, in last part, I will give a conclusion. So uh, uh, for, for the topological quantum materials have invoked a tremendous interest in the uh, condensed metal physics in the past decades due to their amazing properties. For example, the uh, quantum semi impact in the two-dimensional topological insulators, uh, which uh, possesses the uh, uh, spin momentum locked agent state uh, protected by the uh, time reversal symmetry. If the magnetic moment is uh, introduced, so, uh, sorry. If the magnetic moment is introduced in the chrome spin hole insulators, the magnetic gap, the magnetic energy gap is open uh, in the aging state and the uh, uh, column anomalous core effect is realized. This uh, column, topological column materials uh, has uh, application applications in the industry. Uh, for example, the, the application of the column computers and the low consumption spintronics. And from the view of balance theory, uh, the spin orbital coupling strength is uh, crucial for the many version. And the strength of the spin orbital coupling strength is proportional to the cultural uh, atomic number. So it is uh, uh, possible to uh, exploit the top topological quantum materials uh, in, the, in, in the materials with heavy elements. For example, the bismuth, which is the uh, heaviest uh, element among the non-toxic and non-radiative elements. And in the experiment, the first uh, three-dimensional strong topological, in topological insulators has been uh, realized in the uh, bismuth based uh, bismuth theorem or theorem with a two-dimensional surface state. And uh, uh, compared with the uh, two-dimensional surface state, the one-dimensional agent state has a, disav 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 has a advantage. For example, uh, uh, the uh, uh, only, only the backscattering could happen in the one-dimensional agent state. And uh, for two-dimensional uh, surface state, there are other scattering, other than uh, backsc backscattering happens. So in this case, the uh, uh, ropeness of the one-dimensional agent state is stronger than uh, uh, two-dimensional surface state. So research, researchers just focus on the, uh, uh, the topological quantum materials with the thickness down to the monolayer. For example, the bismuth nib on the uh, silicon terminated, uh, silicon carbide substrate. In this case, there is a strong interaction between the bismuth nib and the online substrate, uh, leading to the open of uh, a uh, uh, large energy uh, column spin hole insulating gap. The gap size is around 0 0.8 electric voltage, which is the largest uh, uh, energy gap reported in the column spin hole insulators in experiment. Okay, then uh, the, this large gap is derived from the strong spin orbital coupling strength from the uh, PX and PY orbitals rather than the PZ orbitals in the honeycomb model. Okay, so uh, this is the reason why there is uh, such a large energy gap uh, discovered in the business on silicon carbide. The most promising materials for the plume spin hole insulators is uh, uh, the non ribbon. Uh, and the, uh, for, for the uh, most uh, uh, discovered uh, plume spin hole insulators, the implant integration is a uh, uh, covalent band. So it is hard for these materials to. Uh, Obtain the to, uh, to engineering the agents to, uh, to obtain the atomic shock uh, agents. 
And uh, the reason I described the uh, piston's hardware system, it is a uh, called one dimensional structure. It's uh, a structural building block is one dimensional molecular chains. And uh, uh, the, the, the chain interaction is the uh, weak in, uh, uh, final force. Then there are several uh, phases with uh, uh, just three dimensional amateurs. For example, the beta phase uh, is most uh, added. Uh, well, the 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 unit the the monolayer uh, monolayer monolayer uh, case is arranged along the c-axis with the unit cell of c-axis is one uh, single layer thick, and for the alpha phase, piston uh, must add the there is a uh, uh, half lattice B shift along the p-axis, uh, and for the alpha piston must uh, from mild, uh, there is a uh, one hundred and eighty degree rotation between adjacent layers. So th these three phases uh, possess the same uh, AB plan arrangement, and uh, due to the different standing orders, there are different uh, topological properties in different phases. For example, the uh, beta phase is most ideal. It is uh, first discovered weak topological insulators by the less bus measurement. Uh, well, the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, topological non trivial service state is uh, found in the uh, in, in some of the surfaces, and the alpha phase business are that it is uh, uh, trivial or uh, high order topological insulators uh, discovered by the uh, upper measurement, and the alpha phase piston burnout it is uh, uh, high second order topological insulators with the evidence of the uh, one dimensional hedging states by the less upper measurement. Also, for the monolayer case, the monolayer business burnout is predicted to be with to be a column spin hole insulators with a large gap around 0 0.2 electric voltage, which is uh, much higher than the thermal activation energy at room temperature. So for these materials, it is uh, uh, promising for the pressure applications uh, under the uh, possible observation of column spin hole in fact, at room temperature. That's based on the above uh, background, we just use the equipment in our lab, the APAS from uh, Santa Omicron, the STM from Unisuco, the PPNs from Home Design to investigate the crystal structures, uh, uh, electronic structure, and the transport properties of some highlight system. Uh, first, we just went to uh, uh, do the investigation with the topological properties of monolayer case. Mm. Since the Narubon is the most promising material for the pressure application, we went to uh, fabricate the Narubon directly. Uh, according to the first diagram of bismuth and the bismuth uh, tri iodide, uh, the bismuth iodide could be formed at the temperature below the uh, 590 Kelvin by the proper, uh, proper uh, ratio of bismuth and the bismuth iodide. That's why we use these two materials as a source uh, to fabricate the bismuth iodide non ribbon by the molecule being epitax method. And our uh, light scale steam images show the non is fabricated on the top of a piston's one thin film. And the uh, high resolution STM images show the rectangular unit cell of, the, of our non ribbon with the latest constant is uh, 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 0 0.28, uh, 0 0.82 nanometer and 1.43 nanometer. For the 1.43 uh, nanometer, uh, it is uh, close to the latest uh, uh, let B constant. But for uh, 0 0.82 nanometer, it is almost twice uh, the value of uh, latest uh, B constant. So uh, also, also, uh, also uh, uh, compare the uh, high resolution STM images or our non ribbon with Isthmus uh, iodide on, uh, on graphene and the uh, cleaved Isthmus iodide synchronous. We see that the um, uh, morphology of bismuth uh, iodide on graphene is similar to uh, bismuth, uh, bismuth iodide synchronized. And in our case, there is a super seal is formed. Uh, after carefully uh, analysis of the uh, structural inf information, we obtain that there is a one by two uh, super, super seal uh, bismuth iodide is formed, which, is ma which matches uh, well with uh, three by rule three, civil test of bismuth one 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 C film. Uh, this uh, indicates a strong interaction between the bismuth one one and the uh, above non ribbon. Then we, uh, we use the STS measurement to uh, investigate the electronic structures of the fabricated non ribbon. 
And uh, the, for the STS curves collect at the uh, tenth region, there is a gap like features. And then when the chip moves to the edging position, there is an edging state resulting in the gap region. Uh, then uh, we also perform the STS mapping elements for the null ribbon. We see the uh, edging state is uniformly distributed around the edging region. And there are absorbed and the disorders uh, uh, for, uh, at the edging region. Uh, we see that the autosomes uh, almost has neglected for, in fact, on the distribution of edging state, and then the edging state will pass through the disorders. So uh, also performing the bias uh, voltage uh, depending the uh, STS mapping uh, mapping measurements, we see that the uh, as a gap region, the one dimension edging state uh, is almost unchanged. And when the bias voltage is not in the gap region, uh, in the gap region, we see there is the uh, typical two-dimensional quasi-particle interference uh, in, in the STS uh, mapping results. Then we perform the uh, first principle calculations of our non-ribbon case. And for the monolayer case, the Z2 equals two, 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 one. And for the uh, uh, non-ribbon case, we see the linear energy momentum disposed band structure. And uh, after we taking the uh, spin orbital coupling strength into account, we see the inner inversion still happens for the response uh, and uh, iron ribbon on bismuth on one thing film. So our uh, DFT calculations are consistent with our experiment results, indicating the topological and natural nature of our fabricate uh, uh, ribbon. Okay. Uh, for the uh, from the view of application, we need to uh, fabricate the non ribbon. Uh, uh, with the support of a semiconducting substrate and uh, with uh, weak interlayer interactions between the uh, interface interactions. And for the case of just... I might have one question before you move to that part. Yeah. Uh, on your STM data, mm -hmm. uh, can you go back to the last slide? This one? The, the last, uh, yeah, okay, this one. So in the far left, there, this is the STM in a tunneling denser state. Mm -hmm. So, so which one do you mean uh, by ES? I mean, I assume that's at state, right? Yes, it's at so state. Is a is a is a red one or the black one? The black one. Okay, the black one. Why why the black one uh, uh, corresponding to at state? Uh, because we we talk part of the uh, cable-like features by our STS measurements. It is correlated to the region. Uh, uh, marked by the uh, by the red and the purple uh, tri triangle. This this is correlated to the uh, band gap uh, uh, measured as the tenth part. And uh, the edge then the density of states in uh, for, uh, obtained from the STS curves uh, collected as the uh, edging edging region shows uh, shows uh, uh, higher density of states compared to the spectral uh, uh, collected as the but, but why? But why there is a very strong, very strong D here? We don't know. There, there, there's, a, there's a. It's like a V shape, right? You mean, I mean the, the, for, for the, uh, the black curve? There is a very uh, strong uh, V shape. It's a V shape like. Uh, in the idea, uh, linear energy momentum disposed uh, I just said it should be a. Uh, uh, it should be a constant value over the density of states. But the wish, wish may maybe due to the uh, adding liquid, we will uh, talk later in the in, in, in other parts. Okay. 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 Thanks. Thank you. Okay, I just keep uh, talking about my uh, talk, and uh, uh, and uh, since uh, now ribbon we fabricated on the bismuth one one thing film, the bismuth one one thing film is a magnetic nature. It is detrimental for the uh, application applications and for the same crystal. The cleaved thin crystal, the exposed uh, uh, surface could be regarded as the uh, uh, monolayer case with uh, weak interaction with the underlying homo substrate, and the interlayer interaction is quite weak. So in this case, the uh, uh, the the, the uh, cleaved surface may be <coughs> preserve the intrinsic property of the of monolayer case. In this, in uh, thus we we perform, uh, we do the. Uh, we uh, fabricated the high quality thin crystal, which is real by the XRD measurements. And uh, then uh, we use the uh, uh, optical measurement to show the, this is the optical image shows that the uh, one dimensional nature of the 
uh, of the uh, of the of this system, the cleaved uh, STM image of the cleaved uh, synchronous shoes that there are uh, long size non ribbon with atomic sharp edges is formed on the surface, and the uh, high resolution STM images shows the uh, structure information um, <coughs> close to the results obtained by the XRD measurements and other reports. We then use the uh, STS and RPS measurement uh, to reveal the electrical structures of the cleaved uh, uh, bismuth uh, uh, bromide increased. The RPS rods show that there is an uh, empty gap near the surface with a gap value around 0.2 electrical voltage. And our STS curves choose uh, similar features to the RPS rods. Uh, and uh, when, uh, uh, when, the, when the tip moves to the edging regions, the, the there is the aging states resulting in the in the in the gap. We also perform the, the line profile STS measurements. Uh, the rust reveals uh, the widths of the aging is around the uh, aging state is around 1.7 nanometers, uh, which is uh, close to that is a constant and uh, comparable to uh, other reported coulomb spin hole insulators. Uh, we also perform the DFT calculations. For the non ripple case, we see the linear energy momentum dispersion uh, resulting in the gap region, and uh, uh, also takes the uh, monolayer bismuth uh, bromide as a substrate. And this, uh, after the, the takes the interaction between this uh, the non ripple and the online substrate, the linear energy momentum dispersion and structure still survive. Uh, in order to figure out whether there is uh, the topological phase transitions uh, during the uh, during changing the temperature, we perform the uh, uh, temperature dependent the RPS measurement. Uh, we see that the, uh, uh, by by changing the temperature, the whole band is shifted towards the Fermi surface, uh, and the gap size is almost unchanged at different temperatures from six Kelvin to room temperature. Uh, uh, and uh, since the gap size is much larger like, than the uh, small activation energy at room temperature, we think, we, we, we think that this system, the bismuth uh, 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 bromide non ribbon, it, it could be a promising uh, platform to observe the chrome spin hole impact. Okay, uh, after we uh, uh, investigate the uh, topological properties of monolayer case. We uh, focus on the research of one dimensional rule in this system. Uh, before we talk about this uh, one dimensional rule, we, we introduce the uh, 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 concept of weak anti localization. When the charge carriers transpose, if there is no scattering, there is no uh, resistance, which is correlated to the ballistic uh, transport. And uh, uh, in, in, the, in the real material, uh, there is the latest vibration and the disorders, which contributes to the uh, scattering. And then the uh, resistance occurs. And in the quantum division region, uh, at a low temperature, uh, the phase of the, the change of the phase, which I carries, may uh, play a crucial role for uh, our scattering. And uh, leading to two typical phenomena uh, uh, in, in, in the quantum division case uh, the weak anti localization and the uh, weak localization phenomena. For the weak anti localization phenomena, the uh, uh, the phase uh, the change the phase uh, the change the phase value is around pi, and uh, the, in this case the localized electrons is decreased after the quantum interference, and in this case the conductivity will be increased uh, after applying an uh, external magnetic field. The time reversal symmetry is broken, and in this case the conductivity uh, uh, is de decreased and uh, leading to a cusp. As a magnetic conductivity measurement as a function of uh, uh, magnetic field. And, uh, and then the case is, is uh, totally uh, opposite for the for the weak localization case. And uh, in the uh, magnetic uh, conductivity measurement, we'll see a uh, dip as a low field due to the uh, increased localized electrons. And uh, the weak anti localization phenomenon is observed in the topological quantum, uh, quantum materials such as graphene and the topological insulators. Due to the, uh, uh, topologic, uh, the, very, uh, very, the very fast value is, is pi. So, normal, so normally, the weak anti localization is correlated to a gapless band structure. And uh, for the bismuth uh, bromide case, it is a 
sorry to interrupt. Uh, uh, does that mean the the sign for weak anti localization and weak localization, the sign of conductivity is reversed? Does that mean? Uh, yes, the the the, the sign. Uh, yes, if if we you there is a contribution from the uh, weak anti localization and the uh, weak localization uh, from these two phenomena, uh, the sign should be totally different. One is uh, one is the uh, positive value, the other one is negative value. Uh, okay, thank you. Okay, uh, for our three dimensional business uh, burnout case, it's a uh, uh, second order topological insulators. We just use the uh, angular uh, dependent magnetic resistance measurement to investigate uh, the transport properties of this system. We you will see that there is a low field cusp at different, uh, uh, at different temperatures correlated to the weak anti localization phenomenon. And uh, uh, in this case, we just rotated the magnetic field uh, from the BC plane. And uh, if we do the projection of the uh, magnetic field to the direction perpendicular to the zero one surface, we see that uh, all the curves could be scaled well. And indicates that the, uh, the OK anti localizing phenomenon is, correct, is uh, derived from uh, the surface state, maybe derived from the surface state. Since, uh, considering the fact that the zero zero one surface and the one zero surface are not perpendicular to each other. Then we could not uh, uh, separate, uh, uh, we could not uh, make sure which, which surface that we built uh, the uh, weak anti localization phenomena uh, in this measurement. Thus, we uh, just uh, uh, do the rotate the magnetic field along the direction, along the plan uh, perpendicular to B axis. And in this case, uh, uh, we also do the projection of magnetic field, uh, magnetic field to the direction perpendicular to the other one uh, plan and uh, one zero plan respectively. We see for the case of uh, for the for projection perpendicular to zero one surface, uh, there is no scaling behavior uh, found here. And uh, uh, for for the case of uh, projection of magnetic field to the one zero surface, the scaling behavior is, could be identified. This indicates that the uh, weak anti localization phenomenon is correlated to the uh, surface state of one zero surface. And uh, considering uh, that the business uh, uh, bronide is a second order topological incident that has uh, one dimensional heat instead, the one dimensional heat instead is, uh, uh, is with capitalist dynamic um, uh, exposure it will, uh, due to the weak anti localization phenomenon. But we do not think uh, the uh, anti localization phenomenon we observed here is correlated to the one dimensional heating state because the one dimensional heating state, this contribution is very small during uh, the, uh, in the transport measurement. Uh, second, the uh, one dimensional heating state is as a boundary of uh, uh, zero, one, zero, zero, 001 surface and one, zero, zero, 0 surface. Uh, it should be identical to both of the, these two surfaces. Thus, uh, in order to uh, figure out this initial, we use uh, an APS measurement uh, on, on the on the cleaved one zero surface. We see there is uh, linear energy momentum, linear like energy momentum dispersion in this surface, which is called for the observation of weak anti localization in our experiment. <laughs> okay, so we found that the weak anti localization phenomenon correlated to the one zero zero surface state. Uh, but we do not know whether this, this weak anti localization phenomenon is one dimension or two dimension. And from our magnetic conductivity measurement, we could not uh, uh, figure out this issue. So we just uh, uh, apply the planar core measurement uh, on, this, uh, on, this, on this material. For the uh, general, uh, almost the, uh, studied core measurement, the uh, magnetic field is prevented to the surface uh, uh, consisted by the uh, electron and the current. Electrodes and current, uh, but for the planar hole measurement, the uh, the magnetic field field is rotated along uh, in in this plan. And in this case, the R X X and R R Y X are correlated to the uh, to the to the uh, longitude and the transverse resistance resistivity, and uh, they could be described by these two formulas. Well, R parallel and R perpendicular are the resistivity parallel and perpendicular to magnetic field. And if these two factors are not equal to each other at a fixed uh, 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 magnetic field, uh, the RX 
x has an as a function as a function of the as a function of ample, as a trigonometric function proofs with a periodicity of pi. And also due to the effect that cosine phi square and cosine phi by sine phi, there is a phase deviation of 45 degree between these two resistance. These are two features of the planar hall effect. And uh, uh, the planar hall effect has been uh, observed in four systems uh, in the past, uh, in the past uh, investigations. One first is the ferromagnetic system, which, which will have the response to the magnetic field. Uh, and uh, the second one is the topological insulator. It has uh, um, a topological non true helical uh, surface state. When the external uh, uh, magnetic field is uh, parallel to the, uh, 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 the, spin, the spin direction, in this case, the time reversal symmetry is broken. And if it is parallel to the uh, spin direction, the uh, time reversal symmetry is, is not broken, is preserved. So in this case, the R parallel and R perpendicular are not equal to each other. The third so, so case is the wear semimeter uh, or direct semimeter. For the wear semimeter, the, the chiral anomaly will contribute, uh, contribute uh, additional uh, connectivity channels connecting two uh, wear points. And in this case, the parallel, R parallel and R perpendicular are not equal to each other. The direct semimeter is similar to the case of wear semimeter. Uh, because when uh, the external uh, magnetic field is applied, the direct points uh, will be uh, direct points will separate into two uh, wire points. Then the chiral anomaly works. The first case is a strong anisotropic film surface system where the orbital uh, magnetic resistance works. Uh, for the uh, bismuth hardware system, it is uh, a typical strong anisotropic film surface system. That's we use uh, planar uh, form element. Uh, for the for the for, uh, for 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 the for the bismuth system, the bismuth um, uh, brom bromide uh, with the uh, uh, magnetic field rotated along the one zero surface, and uh, in this case, uh, the high temperature we see a typical planar hole in fact, uh, uh, at, at the low temperature we see the distortion happens here, and the temperature region for uh, over the distortion is. Uh, 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 agree well with the uh, uh, temporary region of weak anti localization. In this case, that's what we think uh, the weak anti localization correction plays a uh, uh, role in the, in, the, in the observation of distortion. That's we just modify the formula uh, after considering the uh, contribution of weak anti localization. And the, for the isotropic systems, uh, the contribution of uh, weak anti localization should be a constant value at a fixed. Uh, uh, magnetic field. But for the highly anisotropic case, for example, the one dimension case, the, the uh, contribution of the weak anti localization should be uh, correlated to the uh, angular factor. And in this case, we use the user theory and then uh, put, the, uh, uh, put this formula as a one dimensional correction, one dimensional weak anti localization correction. And use this uh, uh, use these revised formulas to the fitting. All the curves could be fitted well, indicating that the one dimensional weak localization in, in our case. And this one dimensional weak localization is correlated to the uh, to the to the to the uh, topological non trivial topological uh, uh, non trivial surface state. And uh, we think uh, this one dimensional weak anti localization is, is correlated to the one dimensional spin polarized uh, 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 structure in uh, one zero surface. We also want to do some extension of our theory to other symmetries. For example, the SRSN oxygen system, which possess the quadruple symmetry, uh, spin polarized band structure near the frame surface. And in this case, the formula uh, should be uh, revised as this, well, sine phi and cosine phi need to be considered. And use this revised formula, we do the uh, uh, fitting, we see that uh, the curves of these materials could be fitted well. And uh, we just do some extension of our theory to other, uh, to other uh, symmetry with the spin polarized, uh, spin polarized uh, 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 structure. And uh, we, we use this one, uh, the, 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 the the, the principle we use this one is due to that the this the culture power symmetry could be regarded as two 
uh, one dimensional swing parallel band structure with the direction with the directions perpendicular to each other. Okay. Uh, when the when the uh, electrons are confined in one dimensional, the electron uh, electron interaction works. And for the this most higher system is a quasi one dimensional structure. Then the uh, it is possible to to observe the Lanning liquid in this case due to the due to its uh, its special one dimensional rule. Uh, and for the we do the some um, calculations for the single one dimensional chance. Uh, after considering the spin of the coupling strength, it, we found that it is a uh, uh, insulate. Whereas the uh, one dimensional chains are arranged on a axis, uh, the inter interchain interaction plays a role, and uh, the quantum spin hole insul insulators forms with one dimensional uh, aging states. And uh, for the three dimensional form, this one dimensional uh, aging states are arranged along C axis to form the two-dimensional surface. And uh, in this case, if the uh, interlayer interaction is weak enough, the one-dimensional rule in the one uh, in the uh, edge state may be resolved. Thus, in this case, because, because we know that uh, uh, for the edge state of quantum spin hole insulators, it may possess the helicolytic liquid behavior uh, in, the previous, uh, in the previous studies. So for example, in the uh, business near and the iron selenium, and uh, in this case, this one dimensional uh, helicolytic liquid may be resolved on the surface of uh, one zero surface. So, our uh, first principle calculations show the quasi one dimensional band structure of, 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 of uh, the one zero surface. Thus, we perform the RPS measurements for the one zero surface. We see that the, uh, the band disposition is a quasi one, one dimensional dispos disposition. And, uh, and also uh, the uh, uh, energy momentum disposition shows a linear and linear band structure uh, with uh, with, with uh, linear band structure. In this case, our uh, experiment results are consistent well with uh, uh, simulation simulations, and uh, uh, and also the the one zero surface one zero surface of business, uh, uh, <laughs> From my could be could be an ideal platform to investigate or to realize the two uh, uh, the helicolytic liquid in two dimensional form. Uh, as we perform uh, for for the uh, lining liquid, there are two main features. Uh, first one is a uh, power law dispersion with density state. The other one is the spin spin uh, moment uh, spin charge stabilization. Uh, and that's we perform the uh, uh, temperature dependent the uh, pass measurement. In, in in use the formula to do the fitting of the uh, EDC curves. Uh, we also do the fitting of the ED curves, EDC curves of the typical uh, film liquid material, the girdle. Uh, and the, the fitting rod shows the exposed is close to zero, which for uh, which agree well with uh, film liquid behavior. And for our business uh, uh, bromide case, the alpha value is around zero point three. Indicating the electron electron interaction happens in this material, and uh, uh, the power law dispersion behavior uh, should be temperature in, in, independent in a linear liquid case. So we just plot the uh, uh, do the fitting for all the curves and plot the alpha as a function of temperature. We see that the alpha value is almost on, uh, is is maintained uh, uh, almost a constant value uh, at different temperatures. We also do the scaling behavior of, uh, of temperature. We see that all the curves could be scaled well. And also we do the measurement for the zero zero one surface due to the uh, uh, interlayer uh, interchain interaction and the energy gap uh, we observe in the RPS measurement. There is no scaling behavior. We also perform the RPS or the STS measurement for both of the zero zero one surface and the one zero zero surface. And uh, for the uh, uh, zero, one, zero, zero 001 surface, the stairs curves correct as a Terence region shows a quantum spin hole in signaling gap. And when the T1 moves to the aging region, we see uh, the aging stairs, but, uh, just, just as uh, uh, for, for, the, for the ideal, ideal uh, uh, aging state, the constant, uh, the, the density of stairs should be a constant value. But our case, you is, is deep at the uh, firmly, firmly surface. 
with mere correlation to the learning leap, the behavior. That's what formulas are uh, 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 fitting by this formula for the uh, zero, zero, 001 aging state. We see the fitting ratios alpha equals to zero point eight, uh, three eight, which is close to the last uh, upper And for 1000 surface, there is no uh, no uh, aging effect on the on the shape of the STS curves, and all the curve, all the all, all the curves show the almost the same shape to the uh, aging uh, to the curves of the age uh, collected as the aging zero zero one surface, and we also do the fitting for the all the curves uh, as uh, obtained at the one zero zero surface, and the value is zero point uh, uh, three, which is uh, 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 close to the upper surface and uh, indicating that the learning liquid uh, behavior observed in one zero zero surface is originated from the uh, one dimensional aging, uh, sorry, one zero zero surface that is, uh, is from the uh, zero zero one uh, surface aging state. So uh, our ST, uh, our uh, upper surface and our STS surface indicating the, uh, the, the, the model we mentioned above. Okay, I know what we show that the uh, helical learning liquid will be extended in two dimensional form in the uh, one zero service state of, uh, for, uh, of business uh, uh, bromide. Okay, uh, then is part four. We want to do to realize, uh, to realize the no uh, the edge is a, a, a more layer step edge or is a multi layer step edge? Uh, you mean the uh, edge of one zero surface or zero one surface? Because it is only O one surface. O one, okay. It is a monolayer. Oh, it's, it's a monolayer mono case. A monolayer case. But why, you know, uh, but why if the uh, the tip is on the terrace, which is far away from the edge, you still observe this uh, uh, alpha equal to point. Uh, 0 0.3, 0 0.32? Oh, this 0 .3. is only, only for aging, not for Terence. Terence is always a gap. We do the fitting for only for the aging region. The curve of okay. the at the aging region. No, I mean, I mean on, on the far left, on the far right. You, you have uh, this. I do not do the, do, do, do the fitting because it is gap. On the right panel. On the right panel, OK. Because no, we no, think no, no, not the one, or, or, I mean, the, uh, let's say panel E. Panel E, panel E. Figure E. Or this one, or this one. No, figure E. Figure this E, is, the, the upper up panel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so what yeah. is the, the difference between all these curves? Oh, this one, this one is uh, the fitting rust of the aging state of uh, 001, 001 surface. It's only for this part, not for, not for the terrains. And the for, for okay, the I understand, for, but then what, what, what are the differences among all these curves in, 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 in figure E? In figure E, okay. This one is is a zero zero one edge, and the, the other is a uh, curves uh, obtained uh, from the one zero zero surface. This is the curves obtained oh, from I, one I zero see. surface. But they are, they are that that those are step also step edge. Yeah, yeah. For step edge, it is correlated to this curve. There is almost no change for the curve shape. Okay, so so what are the thickness of the, those steps? The thickness for this one. Yeah, are, are they more layer step edge or or, or multi layer? It is the uh, it should be the uh, 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 layer case, but we also do the measurement for the uh, thick case. I mean, the, like the two layer or three layer case. Yeah, I just try to understand, you know, when you see the, the, the 2D form, so for, for example, if the O1 edge is, is just a more layer step edge, so Y is 2D. Uh, we lost Professor Zhuang. Hello? Yeah, I, I think so. 
Oh, I thought I. Maybe my crossing is too challenging. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> But his data is really interesting. I think. Yeah, I think so. Oh, he lost connections. Uh, yes. Uh, What do we do? Let, let's just wait for a few minutes. I think he will be back. Sorry, sorry for this. <laughs> my my net is not good. See. Yeah, but you, you probably have like eight minutes, including the Q and A session. Okay, I will. Uh, I'll wait for fifty. Hello. Okay. Do it. Justin. Hello. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I just um, you wait, wait like another eight, eight minutes for your talk. Okay. Oh, I only have eight minutes. <laughs> you know, you need uh, to wait so for eight minutes. You need to wait for another eight minutes for for the, oh, okay. the, the, the yeah. <laughs> okay. Just the uh, new my talk. So so is the screen normal? Oh, Jashin, probably you should. Uh, Professor Zhang hasn't finished his talk. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, about that. Yeah, Professor Zhang, you can share your screen. Yeah. Okay. Is our screen normal now? Uh, we need to wait. It's sharing. Um. Don't don't show. Is it okay? No, it's still sharing. <laughs> Uh, okay, now it's it is. yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. This part is uh, uh modulation of the logical properties of the system. And it is uh, this part is modulation. We want to publish. So, Professor, we cannot hear you. Me now? Barely. Uh, it's your voice volume is too low. I can't see the volume. So, uh, I talk. And the for for the last part, I just want to see our basically logical properties in this system. And uh, the normal is to use the message. I think we are not able to hear it, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think I, I can't hear. Well, like you can like uh turn off your video, so we just try. We can. It's What? even worse oh. now. We don't know even his talking <laughs> or not. Yeah, we cannot hear you. Okay, you look at all. Hmm. No, we can hear nothing. Oh, that's the sound of the room. Yeah. If you have one minute. Is Professor John reconnecting again, or? Yeah. I think he's reconnecting. Yeah, he's reconnecting. Uh, is my voice normal now? Yeah, right. It's not. Okay. Okay. Sorry for that. Uh, just can you uh, my talk? Okay. Um, The screen is also normal. Maybe normal in five seconds. Need to wait. No. So I can share screen oh, now. Not yet. Okay, um, <laughs> sorry, Jackie. Maybe still wait for several minutes. Uh, okay. Yeah, no, it's normal. Now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, for this part, we just oh, I want to just want to talk about the uh, our recent work on the realization of.
topological fluctuations and uh, normal topological properties in this system. Uh, we just uh, vary the concentration of iron dyes in this system, and uh, we obtained different samples with uh, high qualities. And the SRD results shows uh, a peak shift, uh, which is correlated to the different lattice axis. We also use the EDX measurement, uh, measurement to uh, confirm the concentration of the iron dyes in this system. We could, uh, we could, uh, we could know that we obtained uh, uh, various uh, samples with different iron concentration. Uh, from the XRD results, we could not see any, uh, uh, any, any, any more, more, more information such as the uh, first transition, search, search or first transition. As we perform the uh, transmission in virtual microscopy measurements uh, combined with the focus arm beam technique, we see that from the pure bismuth, uh, uh, bismuth uh, bromide case, it is a typical AB, AB structure with the increment of the uh, iron concentration. We see that when the iron concentration is around 50%, there is a three-layer structure of a tent. And then with the further increment of the iron concentration, it's, it is changes, changed back to uh, the structure of uh, bismuth uh, uh, bromide. And uh, with the full, uh, we just continue to uh, increase the uh, iron concentration. When the iron concentration uh, reaches around 100%, uh, it is a typical uh, alpha phase of bismuth aldehyde. So in this case, we just uh, realized the uh, structure traditions uh, by, by, the, uh, by changing the iron dyes concentration. We also perform the STM and STS measurements for the pure case, uh, the bismuth uh, bromide and bismuth iodide case. The uh, highlight elements distribute the uniformly on the surface. And, uh, uh, and for the, for the uh, uh, top ones, we see the values uh, dark and white, white, the protrusions on the surface, which are correlated to the different highlight elements. Also, we perform the STS measurements. We see that the energy gap is changed in different samples. This indicates that the, uh, the, the, the electronic structures is in, indeed uh, modulated by the uh, by changing the iron dyes concentration. Uh, we perform the RPS measurements for the different samples. Uh, for the zero zero one surface, we see there is a typical uh, column spin hole insulators uh, insulating gap, and with the increment of iron dyes, the okay, gap is. I, I just have a quick question. So here okay. the concentrations that you have mentioned, the X values, are they the actual concentrations or are they the ones that you started with? Like, no, you mean you, you want to see the structure change issue here? No, no, no. In the back previous slide. Previous, this one? Oh. Yes. So you have those ratios, right? 0 0.8, 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So those uh, values, are they actual? Concentration actual, yeah, actual concentration uh, uh, confirmed by the EDX measurement. So these are actual concentrations that you have yeah, mentioned. Actual concentration, yes. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, and then we just uh, to the upper measurement for the uh, different samples for the, for the zero surface. We see that the cap size is uh, decreased with the increment of iron concentration, and for the three layer cases, the gap is almost uh, close, but still there is a small, uh, a tiny gap. And for the uh, bismuth, uh, when the iron concentration uh, reaches around 0, uh, 62 percentage, the gap is, um, is, is closed. And then with the further increment of iron concentration, the gap is reopened, which may correlate to the topological phase transitions in this part. But also, uh, 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 in order to figure out which kind of uh, topological uh, phase transition happens in this, in this system, we perform the upper measurement with the one zero surface. Uh, for different samples, uh, due to the roughness of this surface, uh, the uh, quality of the uh, cement uh, by our helium light is not uh, good enough. Thus, we uh, use the laser pass to the measurement for this surface. And for the pure one, pure, pure bismuth uh, brown iron case, we see there is a linear, two linear energy momentum dispersion uh, crossed with each other with a uh, gap open and the cross section. With, with the increment of iron dye's concentration, uh, the shape is not is almost unchanged, but the uh, gap size is, uh, is diminished. So, so in this case, we think uh, that there is no no changes at the gamma point of, uh, of one zero surface. We also perform the pass measurement for the deep point of the one zero surface. We see as the uh, low concentration part there is two linear energy momentum dispersion. But when the iron concentration is high enough, we could only see one iron concentration or one linear energy momentum dispersed uh, structure. 
Okay, we also uh, uh, do the DFT calculations for the Q1 after considering the three orbital coupling strengths. Uh, I'm sorry, could you go back to the uh, 001 uh, diagram for a second? I have a quick question. This one? The 001 surface? No, no, the, the two slides before. Two slides, one zero zero. Zero two zero. Slides. I mean, the, you told, uh, you showed us that the, uh, the gap is getting smaller when oh, this one. Okay. Gains, this is one or not, I mean, zero, zero, one. Yeah, zero, zero, one, so. Yeah, you told us that the gap is getting closer and we go, uh, you, you saw that the, they go through some kind of topological transition. So you mean you saw the topological phase transition in the zero, zero, one surface. Uh, it is a three-dimensional material. Uh, we see the, see the changes in the, Zero zero one surface and uh, it may correlate to the topological uh, uh, phase transition, but uh, the topological phase transition should be correlated to the three three dimensional case because uh, we we, uh, we use uh, a bulk sample. Okay. So what what is the uh, smallest gap you've ever seen by changing the uh, doping? Uh, from the resolution of our uh, our uh, uh, the uh, upper measurement by the helium light, it is around. Uh, uh, several tens uh, electron voltage. For this case, uh, it is almost uh, 10 electron voltage, almost reach the resolution of our uphast measurement. Oh, so, so, in, so in the zero, zero, 001 surface, you saw the energy gap is, was almost 10 milli electron volt. Uh, I, I just talked about the, this, this figure, the zero, zero, 001 surface, the energy mm -hmm. gap is decreased then, is the mm -hmm. smallest value in this surface is around the 10 uh, mini electron voltage. Okay. All, all so, right, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I just, uh, uh, we just, I just talked about, uh, quickly in my talk, and uh, for the Z point, you can see that uh, the two, the two uh, linear energy momentum dispersed uh, uh, structure changed from, changed to uh, on linear energy momentum dispersed, uh, dispersed uh, that structure after the phase transition. And uh, we do the calculation for this one, we can see that we, after considering the spin orbital coupling strength, the, 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 the band inversion happens twice at uh, both the M point and the L point. And this, this, this one is called for the high order, high order topology instead of just as uh, talked by the uh, Professor Kondo. And, uh, but uh, the band inversion still happens. Also, Z2 is equals to zero. So in this case, the uh, band evolution happened twice, leading to the two linear energy momentum disposed uh, surface state we observed in the one zero surface. And with the increment of iron concentration, uh, the, uh, the, the gap size is become small. And uh, then the crossover happened here. And uh, there is only one um, uh, band evolution happens at, at the end point. In this case, the strong topological insulators uh, happens. And this one, this high topological insulating case still, still uh, survive. Thus, we think this is uh, uh, strong topological insulators plus uh, uh, high order topological insulators is a uh, 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 phase of the topological phases. Uh, uh, also, we can see that the projection of the Boolean zoom to the one zero surface Boolean zoom. That for the, for the M point, the projection to the Z point of, of one zero surface Boolean zoom. The Z, Z point, we can see the above uh, figures that for the Z point, there is, first, there is two linear energy momentum dispersed air structure. And for uh, when the iron concentration is high enough, only one uh, linear energy momentum dispersed band structure is identified, which is correlated to the band evolution happened here. And for, uh, for the air point, there is no, uh, no band evolution happened uh, with the increment of iron, iron dice concentration, which this reason why we see that the band structure as a uh, gamma point is almost unchanged. Thus, we also perform the DFT calculation for the three log case. We see that the uh, band evolution happens three times at both of the M point and L, and the L point, indicating it is uh, uh, weak, uh, weak topological insulators. Thus, according to the above uh, DFT calculations and our experiment results, we plot the uh, first diagram of this system. And for the pure business, uh, uh, <coughs> 
bromide. It is a high order topological incident when in, with the increment of iron concentration. For, for the uh, iron concentration is around 50 percent, it, it is a weak topological case. Then uh, change back to the high order topological case. And, and then uh, there is a uh, topological uh, band, band evolution happened, and then the high order topological incident nature plus the uh, strong topological incident nature coexistence in this region. And for the pure business, uh, iron type uh, uh, case, it is, it is uh, uh, a high, uh, high order topological incident or weak topological uh, incident uh, uh, depends on different uh, structures. Okay, last of this conclusion, due to the time, I will not uh, read this. Uh, we also want to thank our group members and our collaborators. Okay, thanks. Yeah, okay, thank you, Professor Zhuang. Uh, very nice talk. And I think we have done a lot of questions and uh, discussions during the talk. So maybe we just directly move to the next speaker. Okay. Uh, we can we can still type the question in the chat. So Professor Don, you can uh, enter the okay. question. 